now we are going to create our first controller. I'm going to use nest CLI. I have to execute this command nest G or you can use generate. I'm going to use the short form G and controller. I need to define the name of the controller. I'm going to use the products. Now you can see that we have the products folder and inside the products folder we have products controller and the spec file. And you can see these changes. It has also added the entry inside the app module. You can see that we have controllers array. You must need to specify the products, products controller here. Let's say you are building the API for the products endpoint. I'm going to define the find all method. Let's say it is going to return the string. I'm going to start the project. For testing purpose, to test the REST API, I'm going to use an application. This is the desktop application. You have to download it. The Postman. I'm going to use this Postman app for testing the API. I have already downloaded the Postman. You can find that. So it's time to send requests to this APIs. Localhost colon 3000 slash products. Oops, there is nothing here. Not found. Can 404 means this route does not exist so we need to define the route by using the getter this is the decorator you can also define the path here now it's time to send the request my application has started now you can see that find all I did not define the slash products here. This is our the base path for this controller. If you want to add more route here, let's say find product slash all. I'm gonna send the request to the slash products. There is no route slash products, but I have changed the route slash all. Now you got the find all. So this will specify the route and this is the route handler. Route handler method decorator routes HTTP get request to the specified path. For that I'm going to remove that. Let's try to keep with find all. 